Um, thank you all for coming. It's an insane number and location and setup, what with your dinner and your drinks and everything for a missing workshop. So, we'll do, and there's no internet, so we're just going to do the best we can. And you've got to think of it as an experience of different things and things that you might only try this one evening for an hour and a half, like knitting on teeny weeny needles with teeny weeny wool. Um, and doing complicated things that you really don't quite understand, um, and then in two years' time thinking, hmm, well, perhaps I can have another go at that, or thinking tomorrow, well, I can knit a whole pair of Estonian wristlets, and I'll design my own with all my scraps, and I'll get those books and look on the internet and YouTube and so on, and I'll be able to do it. So that's the idea. It's enabling. Um, <laughs> So what I want to show you to start with, I'm just going to tell you just a little tiny bit, give you a bit of background. I've got people in the room who can both count in Estonian and do Estonian dancing. So, uh, you know, I'm um, a bit on the back foot here because I can't do either of those things. <laughs> um, I went to Estonia last year to uh, a thing called Craft Camp. And um, I've done a handout, and I've also put it all on my blog, which I buried last week. I did my final post. <coughs> I said, very sorry, everybody, all my hundreds of readers. Uh, you know, I'm not doing this any longer. Um, but I'm doing it again now, so I'm going to have to go and do it. <laughs> <laughs> because at 5 o'clock tonight, a page went up with the resources for this workshop and a lot of pictures of Estonian gloves. Go on, come through, you might as well. I might as well be doing it in the middle of some thing. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to tell you a little tiny bit so that you can get started. So I went to Estonia last year to this craft camp, and the Estonians very much push their crafts. They actually do university courses and master's courses in crafts. Not just textile crafts, but building crafts um, and metal. And um, as part of last year's uh, summer school, I learned how to make needles out of bone. And uh, people did embroidery, and I did some gnarl bending, and it was just fabulous. Because craft is really important to them as a nation building thing. It's um, like, um, like the Scottish tartan and the Welsh national traditional costume and all those sorts of things. We think that they go back hundreds of years, but they don't actually. They all sprang up in about the 19th century as these places became countries of their own. And there was Estonia. Now, I'll just tell you, Estonia is the very most northern of all those little tiny, you know, the Latvia and Lithuania and so on. So Estonia is the most northern one. And it's not quite the same as Lithuania and Latvia. The language is different, apparently. So, they've been invaded loads of times, and they were occupied by the communists, and now they're a proper country of their own since about 92. I think it's all on Wikipedia, which you'll be able to look at when you get home. <laughs> um, so, the, the craft thing is really important to them, but they're really interesting because they also emphasise having terrific broadband and they're setting themselves up as a sort of digital hub for the whole of for that bit of Europe, I suppose I was going to say, the whole of Europe. They, they, the currency is euros. So, that's it. Um, and the glove knitting is part of all these crafts, and that was really what I went for. So, I'll show, and the actual, um, what I'm going to talk about tonight is actually knitting a wristlet, but, you know, once you've got the cuff, um, who cares? So, <laughs> these are some, um, I have, I have to resist, um, I won't pass these round at the moment, I'll pass them round once you're knitting, so that you can, um, um, get started. So, Sorry, <laughs> you have to see if they shrink. They were very reasonable. So these, these are very plain, and I just found these in a, in a regional museum, um, and they were very cheap, and I bought one... Oh, I'll pass them around, because you're dying to have a feel, aren't you? Don't put them on, though, please. Um, so these are just plain ones, and they were just in a, in a museum, and I thought, oh, I'm going to buy one of these, 
And then I walked out and I thought, there was another pair, I can't leave them there. And back I went and got the other pair. So these are very plain and, and not very typical, but they certainly keep you warm. So they've got a fancy um, lace, oh, of course you've all got dinner all over your fingers and things. Jolly good, you're allowed then. <laughs> and then these are um, a rather more, um, uh, you, this is the sort of thing you'd find in the capital in the craft shops and it's highly decorated, fancy cuff. Um, a flat thumb, which I, you'll have a chance to try. I know wristlets don't have thumbs, but I suddenly thought while I was writing out my crib sheet, oh, they could just have a go at just placing a surprise thumb. If you've never done one, they're ever so handy, and you can use them for pockets and heels and all sorts of things. And the, I think these are lovely because the pattern goes down there like that. And also, the, the pattern carries over the fingers at the back, mm. and I haven't been able to design a pair myself like that, but I must put it on my list of things to have a go at. And then, um, the pièce de résistance, as far as these go, for me, are these gloves, which you can see have been packaged very nicely. They've got a little certificate with them saying <coughs> who designed them, and who knitted them, and um, they've got this fabulous entrelac cuff. Um, and I, these are, these cost a lot of money. Um, the others were um, a matter of I can't remember about thirty or forty euros. Those I think, and these wow. were these were ninety. So that she, the woman who makes them is charging a proper price for the work and for the people who knit for her. And it's the woman who wrote this book. Got it? Ornamental Journey. Ornamental Journey. And it's a lovely, lovely book. It's it's about knitting, it's a collaboration, have you got done it? A collaboration with um, a poet and a, and a short story writer. And it's beautifully illustrated. Um, it has a bit in the back about how to knit the gloves, but there are beautiful, beautiful pictures and these short stories in it. And it's just fabulous. Um, I came across it quite by accident um, when I was, uh, I got mine from the Louvre in London, you know, the American Camden Patrick yes. woman. Um, I've marked the page where the gloves are most similar to the wristlets I'm going to show you. <coughs> so that is available. Um, while I was packing, I popped in a Sanka glove just to compare, because they're quite different. They have a different sort of feel to them. Again. Uh, I don't try it on because the, the fingers are all pressed into place and it's a real pain to do them again. This isn't my knitting, by the way. Um, so those are there. Now, the Bible, as far as I'm concerned, at the moment, although there's a new book out from Estonia, this is an old, old book. This is Nancy Bush, and a lot of you will know her mm -hmm. sock books. Mm -hmm. I was really lucky last year because she was on the Estonian craft camp. She was in Estonia doing a holiday for her own um, knitters um, and the, she'd gone to the craft camp for the week beforehand. So she was there with a couple of people who were going to do her holiday. And she's been going out to Estonia for about, oh, I don't know, 30 years or something. She's She's been declared a national hero and all this sort of thing. And, and she really is very, very knowledgeable and a lovely, lovely person. And this book has got all the techniques in about casting on and patterns. Look, there's that colour combination again, the orange and white and pink. Um, and patterns for mittens and uh, socks and gloves and all sorts. So it's old this is from the library at lee mills but it's all in there and she's also got um, a youtube video about casting on socks so if you go if you youtube search estonian cast on um you get nancy bush you get a man whose name i forget um but he's wearing a black t-shirt and he says something like knitting rocks you know he's obviously the trendy end of things um and there's Anne telling you how to do an Estonian cast on from a 
for left-handed people from 2010. <laughs> <laughs> And then, this is a book I bought in Estonia, and it's in Estonia, um, oh, but yeah. it's just chock-a-block with pictures, and it's just fabulous. So you're starting to get the picture of what they do and what they can do. So, um, so that's that. Right then, these wristlets. I went to two workshops for wristlets, and... At the start of the day, we got given a set of 1.5 uh, knitting needles and half a dozen balls of yarn and an instruction sheet that was very, very sketchy. And <laughs> at the end of the day, I'd knitted about 10 rows. And at the end of the week, by doing lots of homework in my room, I produced that. Um, it's a singleton, and it's oh. always going to stop getting used to it. It's going to be an only one. Because I don't think I'm ever going to wear Estonian business, although, as we said, they could catch on. They look nice. So, mug cover there. Could be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, need a hole for the handle. <clears throat> Not if it's a uh, polystyrene. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it would hide the polystyrene. Well, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in Norway, they were, they were using the cuffs from the Selwyn ones. Oh, yes. Yeah. Without the mitten top. Yeah. Um, you know, just as we could take all the cuffs. Possible. <laughs> when, when, you, when you feel this, you'll feel how. how Dense it is, and that was one thing I found really, really difficult because the yarn is actually—it's quite like a, it's quite a fluffy Shetland. It's not smooth and fine at all, um, and you're using it with these tiny needles. It's quite a battle. So have a look at that as well. Now, what I thought today was that I would. Um, I've, I've done some instruction sheets, which is just as well. Um, the cast on, there are several cast ons, in fact. You know, I, I thought, oh, I'll sit down and I'll check how, how we did the cast on. And in her book, Christy, uh, who was our teacher for the wristlets workshop, the pink and orange one, um, tells two different ways in her book and another different way in workshop. And Nancy Bush gives at least three different ways. And I found out the hard way in this workshop that if you can't do the cast on, you are basically stuck. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. <laughs> That's the polite way of putting it. <laughs> so, on this little piece, I've done three different cast ons. There's a chain one. There's one where the overs and unders work in pairs, and there's one that is um, more like a German long tail. If you know one of those ones, where you put a slip knot on the um, needle and then hold the yarns like that and do all that to yeah. carry on. Well, do one of them. What I would say is cast on however you can. And when you come back to this, then you can go on YouTube and the man with the black t-shirt or Nancy Bush they're both great. Um, what if if you really want? I, I will show you. I can see you're all looking, but we wanted to do a real Estonian one, so I will show you. But you're far too big a group, really. But I'll come round. So get rid of those. I think I've got enough. Can you all do um, a sort of German long tail where you start and you have you have your Yarns like that. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Right. If you can do one of those, then do it. I'll demonstrate one now, and then um, if you don't know how to do it, then make friends with someone who can do it <laughs> and get them to help you. Cast on 
I would say cast on 36 stitches and then put them onto either three or four needles. Now, hang on half a tick because if you want needles, I've brought some from the mill. Oh, sorry. Um, and if you want fine three ply yarn, I've got some of that as well. So are you all, are you all set up? Have you all got some yarn? Oh right, well come and grab some then. You can either you can borrow the needles or you can pay for them. A pound a set. It's a bargain.